Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, I'm actually going to talk to my generation, basically people who are in their 30s, mid 30s, early 30s, late 30s, right? Who would be entering 40s in few years, like how, what the career looks like in IT industry when people are in 40s, because for a very long time, there has been a conception that the software industry is mostly for youngsters, like unlike other industries where experience is rewarded. Uh, software industry is the industry where the more experience you get, the more redundant you become, right? Uh, because obviously, the ex the more experience you get, uh, you get you become a costly uh, uh, asset or a costly resource for your company, right? So I don't have any written script for this, so probably there will be hitches, right? Anyway, anyway, so continuing on that. So again. So there has been misconception and there is there has been misconception for people who are in 40s like they have outdated skills, they are resistant to change, they lack energy, like one of the biggest misconception is that they lack energy, uh, they're overqualified uh, because probably software industry is, I'm not sure why, why it is overqualification is an assumption. Anyway, and they cost like a lot for a company and which is like to some extent is true because the more experienced guy you get obviously they they you have to pay them for their experience but since the technology is changing or has been changing for like very rapidly for last few years uh, there have been tools that came in like maybe five years seven years so whatever you learn like 15 20 years back and by 15, 20 years, I'm just going back to 2005, 2004, like that. that is. Everything you learned then uh, probably has become irrelevant today, in today's time. So how do I look at what the career of a 40 year old or 40 plus year old person be in next few years? And I think that it's going to be like one of the greatest or one of the flourishing times for people in 40s i mean like they say 40s the new 30 right so that is what it is going to be and i have my reasons to believe because number one uh, software industry is because the software in itself is become very complicated with all the microservices and stuff like that right so it's it's very difficult for people to basically understand that level of uh, complexities and that's where you actually need experience, right? People, you need people who can comprehend that level of complexity. And that is for some college going dude is not possible. I mean, someone who's out of college is probably not possible to understand that level of complexities, the kind of complexities are there in today's software industry and software architecture in general. <coughs> then I would say, So the misconception about not being flexible to learning new technologies, I mean, that is a complete sham because if you look at good companies, big companies, multi -M, multinationals, right? And if you look at people who are at level of say principal engineers or the architects, I mean, you don't see 30 years old or 20 year old people at that position. Like it's mostly people who have been with company for a very long time or have a huge experience behind them right and they are over 40 easily i mean whatever companies i've worked in the people who who hold that level of position architects principal engineers uh, distinguished engineers right they are very senior uh, with they have seen everything whatever problem issues that can basically come right and they have encountered it all they have been like been there done that kind of stuff like they have been there they have resolved they have worked they know how to tackle issues in production. They stay calm. Uh, I've seen people who, who have just started working, right? And when they face any production level issues where your production is down, where you actually have to take steps pretty quickly, they tend to panic in those kind of situations. But whereas on the other hand, I've seen when someone with large amount of experience is in the same situation, they stay calm, they fix the problem and they don't panic or they don't, I mean, they don't 
show themselves like they they had any issues uh, like because and that's only because they have been there and they have done it right they've already they must have seen those those kind of issues they they know what the root cause is they know how to fix the problem they know where to look for the solution so that that's what i mean people with experience bring in no matter what you say like you say like technologies like terraform or kubernetes they are like 5 7 10 8 years old right so why would you have a person with 20 years of experience rather than having a person with 8 year of experience so it's not how old the technology is right it's how better you understand the internals of a particular technology that's what i feel because all these technologies right there's some or the other form of an existing technology let's take for an example docker docker is nothing it's just some linux constructs which were already there so anybody who has like in depth knowledge of linux understands docker understands kubernetes terraform understands uh, like all these tools they are just basically built on top of an existing technology it's not like some uh, magic was done and it was just out of the blue these technologies came they're built on top of an existing technology so the person who understood the existing technology will have no problem understanding these technologies so and compared to a person who does not know its basic his basics only know how to run a tool Uh, they run into issues and then they just panic right they they don't have any answers when they, when they run into issues so that is why i believe experience and people over 40 will have great future going ahead with because so many companies adopting these tools kubernetes they've started running production workloads in kubernetes terraform has become a de facto tool for infrastructure as code so all these high level positions where you have to architect uh, the design or architect the basically the architecture for a company right so where you have to design the architecture you have to decide on what tools you are going to use i think there is there these kind of positions will always be you will always see people with large amount of experience right and large great experience and and again they will be over 40 years right another reason i feel that people with 40 people above 40 years or people in their 40s will have great success in software industry is because the plethora plethora of uh, avenues which which has opened in last 5 7 years like now people actually don't want to become software engineers they there are they have like an entrepreneurial mindset that they want to do something of their own uh they start up companies right rather than working for a company or growing within a company i mean the youngsters these generation gen z is what we call it right uh, gen z does not has that that mindset of working uh, for a company right growing within a company they want to do their own stuff they want to become influencers influencers i mean there there is a bunch of stuff now which you can do on the internet itself right rather than just working for a company you can do a lot of stuff like affiliate marketing and what not there's so many things so i think in next few years the inflow of talent in the software industry will slow down especially the talent which is basically which basically has that kind of skill to work on large scale system that is going to slow down and that is where people with experience will pitch in like the companies will look to them look 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 over to them right to basically uh, get them out of the situation where they don't have enough manpower or they don't have the experience manpower right not manpower experience manpower to basically work on large scale projects so and and that's only because now the avenues have widened for the youngster gen z i mean they they have bunch of things to do rather than working for a company so in the end i would just like to say to the people who are in their 30s and looking forward to their 40s is just keep up skilling that is one thing that you cannot stop ever like even in 20s i was up skilling even in my 30s i'm up skilling and when i'll be 40 or in my 40s i will be upskilling because if i have to stay relevant then age is just a number i mean 
I can become irrelevant uh, in my 30s if I stop learning. I could have become irrelevant in my 20s if I would have not learned the new technologies. And I would become irrelevant in 40s if I stop learning. So you cannot stop learning. That is one thing you have to keep upskilling. You have to keep uh, networking. Yeah, networking is another important thing. Uh, you network with your peers in the industry, your seniors. You ask them for uh, mentorship, right? You become a mentor. <clears throat> you should mentor people who are junior to you or even of the same age, right? doesn't matter. So doing men mentorship is, again, uh, irrespective of age. But yeah, that is what I would suggest people. I mean, if you are doing that, well and good, just keep doing it. Uh, age, I believe, will become just a number in next five to seven years. Like, I mean, probably I might work in software industry till I'm 60, right? Because as long as I'm enjoying it. So if you've seen cricketers, right? So they always say that I have a lot of cricket left in my in, in me, right? So I can also say that I have a lot of software industry left in me that I can give to software industry. So as long as I'm enjoying my work, I am not uh, stressed out with work. I don't look forward to Mondays. I think I'll continue working and that can be very well over 60. I mean, until I mean. I know the retirement age is like 58 for software industries, mostly private industries. But yeah, I, I might do private consulting, right? Thing like that thing. I mean, I can teach. So there, there are a bunch of things uh, for me, but that, that's the story for another day. But yeah, I mean, if you are entering 40s, if you're already in 40s, I think you have a bright career ahead. Uh, there is no such thing as that you are a very... Mm, I mean, you are you have outdated skills, or you are not uh, uh, you are resistant to changes, and you you you're costing company a lot because the amount of money the company is paying you, you're probably making company like three times of that money. So you don't have to worry about the compensation and stuff like that. I think th those are just the thing, the kind of thing people float uh, on the social media just so that there is some. Uh, what you call that uh, negativity which is which keeps flowing around right I mean I never look to those kind of stuff but yeah I mean I'm very positive on my career uh, given that uh, I'm doing whatever I was doing when I was in 20s I'm doing that in my 30s and probably continue doing that in my 40s is I'll keep upskilling I'll keep networking I'll keep building a community around me I'll keep helping the community around me. I'll do mentorship. I'll become a mentor. I'll be a mentee. So, I mean, yeah, that's that's for me. And I mean, if anybody who who's following me continues that, who who's watching this video continues that, I think you guys are going to have a great career in software industry. Well, yeah, that's, I think, pretty much it. Uh, since I didn't have any script, just please pardon me for the breaking and everything, right? I mean, I know it was not very smooth, but yeah, anyway. Uh, cool uh, that's all for this video guys i hope you guys like this video please do subscribe to the channel before leaving and thank you for watching